and welcome. In this video I will be demonstrating how to remove a lost or forgotten power on password from a laptop. This message will also work with a lost or forgotten BIOS or CMOS password, but it will not help with a lost Windows password. I have here an HP Model 2000 2D 49WM laptop with Windows 8 and as you can see, power it on here. I am being prompted for a power on password and I have no idea what it could be. Now this power on password is different than a Windows password. This one is stored on the motherboard whereas a Windows password is stored on the hard drive. So you could put a totally different hard drive in here and you'd still have this password in your way. I looked up the HP support article for this laptop and it basically says that if you've lost the password you have to take it to an authorized repair center and pay them whatever they say if you want your laptop fixed. So basically you've bricked it unless you want to cough up the money to get it fixed or pull your hard drive and use it for parts. We're not going to do that. There's a better way and I'm going to show you how. Even if you don't have an HP laptop like the one I'm using here, don't worry. While there are differences in how you do this, the overall concept is still the same. I'll explain more as we go along. The first thing you want to do is unplug everything from the laptop. Next, remove the battery. Now you need to locate the CMOS battery that is installed in the laptop. This is the part that will be different depending on your laptop. You can find it on some laptops by removing the back panel. Others you may have to remove the hard drive or keyboard to access it. So I'm going to locate mine and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've located the battery. I've only had to remove two panels on this laptop. This one here that covers up the RAM and the wireless. And this one here that covers up the hard drive. And it's actually right over here. I'll zoom in on that for you with camera two. And there it is right there. The battery is CR2032 and that's universal for desktops and laptops. Many of these laptops I've seen, they've got the battery wrapped up in plastic and then it's got a little pigtail and it's a little plug going on the motherboard and you can just simply unplug that. So the battery is out and the laptop's not too terribly taken apart so what I'm going to do is just open it back up, flip it over, plug in the AC adapter and leave the battery out, both batteries. I took about a 10 or 15 minute break. You wanted to let it sit for a little bit before you turn it back on. And the password is gone. So the next step is to turn it back off, install the battery again, and plug it all back up and you have access to your laptop again. I'll type up a list of step-by-step -step instructions and add that to the video description. You can copy and paste it into a text file and print it out if you want. That way you have it handy if you're going to attempt this. I hope this video was helpful and I thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and good luck. See you next time.